Hey, what's up, dudes? Kubla Khan here. Welcome to the Fallout 4 Permanent Roleplay Character Build Discussion. We have the special skills to discuss today, and I want to talk about how they relate to the builds we want to do. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you all who typed in Fallout 4 into the search results. What we do on this channel is we create a character, give them a morality, and put them out into a world, and we roleplay permadeath them. If they live, awesome, Hall of Heroes. If they die, well, cut, and we start somebody new. If you want to get an idea of what that looks like, here's some Skyrim permadeath that talks about it. You can see how we play it, how well we do, and that kind of thing. If you're not too interested in the Skyrim thing, but you do want to see the Fallout 4 stuff, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and on November 10th, we'll have videos up and ready to play. So thank you all for visiting. Now let's get back to what we talked about. So, I want to discuss, dudes, about the builds that you all submitted to me for Fallout 4. Before I get into it, I want to give you guys a little bit of understanding of how I'm going to do this. First of all, we're not going to necessarily talk about the entirety of how the build will work, just sort of the key points that matter. Second, I want to explain how special works. Special is the way that Fallout 4 does its character development. We have things like strength, which is S, P for perception, E endurance, C for charisma, I for intelligence, A for agility or athleticism, and L for luck. The idea being that each point that we put into these things creates a character that is stronger, faster, runs farther, luckier, that kind of thing. So each point that goes into one of these specials uh, eventually corresponds with a perk which you can take in the game, which gives you other extra abilities. So higher luck means you're more likely to find more money in the world, for example. Well, you could also take a perk called like Cap Finder or something of that nature, and that will give you more on top of that. So that's kind of the idea. So with no further ado, I would like to talk about the character from 2F Jeff and Paul Wolf. Now I combined these two together into one, and basically, Paul, sorry if I messed up your last name, Basically, this is a character that we'll name James, and James will be a chemical sales officer, and James is a good person. He wants to do good things, and his success will be creating a world that has trade and is a better wasteland, which means we require the Six Charisma Wasteland Local Leader perk. Now, the idea with this character is since we build a town, well, they'll have to trade between them, and then another town, then trade between them, and we'll have a triple trading, and that will be his success. I also want to include for intelligence for hacker hacker will give us the ability to interact with computer consoles and I believe this is required so that we're able to do some really cool town building stuff it allows you to do things like have AI turrets and uh, more importantly flamethrowers or um, various other lights flashing and so it might like look like Mega Man and the like and I think that's pretty legit now we had another character we have from Gus McQueen banana bread Mostly harmless, and I'm kind of sticking you in here too, Ilian. B I don't know how to pronounce your name. Anyway, sticking you in here too because uh, you wanted a character named S. Brian. I'm like, sweet, we'll name this character S. Brian. So this is our good during the day, evil during the night, or vice versa character. The thought process here is that this person has got to have high, boom, solar powered endurance 10. Now I, I like I just got the claw going. And the idea with this perk is that you have during the time of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. you're two, you get plus two strength. So you're a stronger person, carry bigger weapons, use them better, punch harder. And then, uh, during higher takes of the perk, you can remove radiation and increase your health regen. Now, number six, excuse me, perception six for a night person is a perk that allows the character to have more intelligence and perception during the evening, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And then in later perks, allow them to actually have increased amounts of intelligence perception. Also, they can see better when sneaking at night. So this character I'm kind of stuck with, though, because we want them either to be evil or good, right? Uh, but which side is the good and which one's the evil side? I could see the smarter character being the good person. I could also see the stronger character being the good person because it's the daytime character. So are you an evil genius at night or are you an evil brute during the day? Or are you a brilliant, kind individual at night or are you a kind, loving brute during the day? Or are they brutes or, or is it opposite? You guys go ahead and decide let me know what side you're thinking. I mean, I'll, if there's a... If there's a split in the middle, I'll, you know, th flip a coin or something. But if there's actually, you know, a consensus, I'll totally follow that. Anyway, we got the next with Red Shulabara. Boom. So you wanted a raider character who steals and pillages and stuff. So that means evil. Evil all the way. But since this person also had to use an assault rifle, well, obviously we need agility 3 for commando. Increases the ability of this assault rifle to shoot and kill people. Makes perfect sense. That's their s signature weapon. Almost said signature. This is not the stick. Signature weapon. Also, this character would probably need something like Charisma 10. Now, this gives us the ability to do Intimidation. Intimidation allows you to point your gun at someone and calm them. Stop them from running. Stop them from attacking you. Eventually, allows you to tell them where to move. 
eventually it tells them to 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 attack this is something i think is really great for a raider character because you're gonna have hostages and stuff right someone's like oh i'm gonna get you no stop and then they stop that's a fantastic idea so i'm totally pro doing that with this character and then you know we'll figure out the other stuff as we go now sunesha you had the idea of a character who has a shotgun in the wilderness and nothing because this character had a mysterious past i figured they need luck for a perk mysterious stranger this is basically a stranger that shows up in the middle of vats and helps you kill everything as higher perks go up you eventually have a character who has the mysterious stranger show up with better weapons and then eventually just as a partner a follower and no one it doesn't really explain who they are they're just there and they're very good and so i feel like that fits in the mysterious past mysterious stranger now if you have any other ideas with this this character or whatever let me know down below because i mean he's got a shotgun but i didn't see any perks that necessarily related directly to shotguns uh, but anyway, that'll be cool. We have another build, and this one has a very clear win, Zentet. Zentet wants to kill everything. And I think this will be the perfect opportunity to do the Lucky Punch build. Now, the Lucky Punch build is not from me. This comes from Many a True Nerd, which is a guy who does his own awesome channel. And, like, big time dude. Anyway, he has a this Lucky Punch build, which involves you know the strength and all that. But what's most important is right here, which is the Luck 10. Now, this is because it has for Four Leaf Clover and Ricochet. Four Leaf Clover allows you to build up your critical meter as you're hitting people in vats. Bah, 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 bah. That's not how I'd actually punch. This is how I'd actually punch. Um, and the idea is that the more you hit the guy, the more critical chance you have. And so when you have that, then you also add that to Ricochet, which basically is the lower your life gets, the higher the likeliness that a bullet will literally bounce off your character. That's really cool, and that works really well. Uh, and so there's another thing with agility six being that we can take ability to dodge bullets and uh, I believe that one's called evasion and so you know you have an increased chance that something's just not gonna hit you some damage will not count uh, anywho we now get to the final build which is right here and this is the most just average run-of-the-mill build from Bender is great now Bender is great this is a good idea for a build we're gonna do this build and anybody who's watching this being balanced is totally good for starting a game and the reason why is because it do, it keeps you within access to everything. Cool guns, cool abilities to use whatever gun, to punch whatever you want, you know, kind of to interact in the world. So with that character, I like this idea to play it just like Bender is great. Yeah, we're going to play it just like Bender. And the thought process with that is, you know, Bender is an interesting character. He steals from people, but he has friends that he cares about. And that sounds like a fun playthrough where we'll be chased by the police but you know we're a, we're a rapscallion that everybody likes so anyway dudes that's our set built if you liked any of these guys or you really want to see a little bit of a change let me know if you have any new ideas for builds we just had the perks you know completely released so there can be some new ideas if you check those out and of course thank you all for watching so much it's a total joy to have you and you know november 10th is pretty damn soon so i'm pretty excited Anyway, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.